January the 29th, 2016. Guys, we are watching a lot of things, but uh, we need to focus on Los Angeles just a moment. The methane gas leak there seems to have gotten worse, and what they're saying is breaking. They may have lost the uh, control of the entire field involved in the L.A. gas disaster. It is coming up everywhere. They're saying there's many other leaks. They're reporting that the, you can hear the loud sound of gas escaping a half a mile away. Reporting the leak is out of control. The amount released is seriously underestimated. Now, according to some of the reports coming in, and there's information from the different town hall meetings in the area and from different uh, news outlets, but they said that they had uh, one of the attorneys for the people there said they had requested and sent a letter to the Division of Oil, Gas, and Geothermal Resources saying stop all of the injections. And what they're doing is continuing to inject gas into this massive underground reservoir. Now, at, on the top of that hill, above, above Porter Ranch, is the main leak. But underground, under the shell of that area, is a massive reservoir. They're saying that they wanted to do inspections in that area. They were... 16 wells were not accessible for inspection. 15 were leaking. What they're saying is that Southern California Gas will not admit that they have lost control. That's how dangerous the situation is. And uh, SoCal Gas is saying that it's not that big a deal because it's lighter than air and it's going to rise up and not go down into the cities. But, guys, you've seen the videos of that uh, gas going down the mountain rolling down because some of the elements in it are uh, heavier than air they're talking about radon and then several other elements now representative brad sherman from the u.s house of representatives says this is the largest natural gas leak in history said they were up there yesterday what we heard was the loud sound of natural gas escaping that you could hear quite loudly from over half a mile away again representative in the U.S. House. Now, the state regulators are even saying that a new report shows the levels of toxins released has been seriously underestimated. They, the findings were released in response to the South, uh, Southern California Gas's admission that they underestimated the number of times the cancer-causing chemical benzene has spiked. It goes on a different report. It says officials waited months to monitor California's massive gas leak. A massive natural gas leak has been out of control for more than a month when the country's acting health director said in November that long-term impacts of the cancer-causing chemical benzene should be measured. Now, guys, during all that time, we were seeing the big climate meeting over in Paris. Remember, too much greenhouse gas. We really have to attack that. Not one mention of this. From Washington or any of the other so-called uh, climate control clowns that were in Paris just a, really a big meeting for the new world order when it breaks right down to it said it took them many more weeks to implement the testing they tried to deny any liability guys by simply ignoring it said wildlife is disappearing around the gas disaster residents are saying it is completely gone the birds, the butterflies, the rabbits, the coyotes are missing. All the fish in the ponds are dead. All of it's gone. And it's making the people, they're saying, they wonder how bad it really is. The experts are saying that the magnitude of the Los Angeles gas leak is way beyond what any of us have ever been told. It is a worst case emission. I've never seen a release of this magnitude, the guy says. It's flowing directly into the towns with very little dilution. A worst-case scenario, very dangerous conditions. Be very, very concerned. That's why I'm doing this video, guys. Now, Bob Bocock, he's an environmental scientist. He's saying that we were starting to hear about the largest natural gas well leak in the U.S., the state of California and Southern California gas says it's leaking somewhere between 45,000 and 50,000 kilograms or 99,000 to 110 pounds per hour. He said, we've done actual field measurements and it is 
can be as much as three times greater than what's being reported. Now, in the uh, Aaron Brockovich report, which she's going to be representing a lot of these people, she's saying every person she talked to, thousands of people, are suffering rashes, dizziness, shakiness. They feel like they're in a fog. They have nosebleeds, massive headaches. Guys, if you have those symptoms, this may be the cause and you need to seek medical help. If it is the cause, you do not need to remain there. But the animals are getting very sick, losing their hair. The uh, people are feeling like they're the guinea pigs in this situation. Now, now they're learning that the magnitude is way beyond what they've been told by the government and South and Southern California gas guys. Think about that. And one of the meteorologists is saying just what I said that Southern California gas has said that things aren't so bad because the leak is 1,200 feet above the elevation of the community and that gas is lighter than air. But you guys, you've seen, and just like the report saying, that gas is going downhill because the infrared videos show the plume running down the hill like water, which then goes right into the communities with very little dilution again. At night, before midnight to 6 in the morning, 90% of the time the winds are coming from that direction, from the gas leak to the communities. 90% of the time, from midnight to 6 in the morning. They said they double-checked this because it seems like a phenomenal amount of time that the winds are blowing from the gas leak to the community. It is a very unfortunate situation that the leak is located where it is. The releases are probably two to three times greater than what the California Air Research Board has been reporting. Also, it's becoming quite clear that the state is underestimating the amount of gas that's leaking. He's, this guy's saying, I've been doing this kind of analysis for 35 years, I've done thousands of them. It started back in 1980. I've never seen a release of this magnitude before. Now, there's a no-fly zone over that area, and uh, I don't know how far away it is. It's probably several miles, but it would be good if the, there was the people that uh, had the plane with the Environmental Defense Fund that gave us the infrared images to actually someone if there was a way to monitor that from a safe distance from another hill with a close-up camera, um, small drone, again, way out of the no-fly zone, but something that would give a monitor both for the amount and the direction of the flow, and it would need to be a 24-hour webcam situation. Something to think about, guys. We're watching it. It's a heads-up. Be safe.